Uh, when you hear the name Juan Pablo, when you think of that season, what comes to mind, Caitlin? Um, worst bachelor ever. <laughs> so rude. I feel bad saying that, but it just, what comes to mind is like, he just wasn't what America wants to see in a man. Interesting. Okay. And Trista, we just watched the date with Claire and Juan Pablo. What did you make of what he had to say to her? I am blown away by his complete lack of respect and manners and and I get that there's a communication barrier there. No excuse. No kidding. No <laughs> excuse. It's ridiculous. And the reason yeah. why Caitlin named her cactus but a bump Juan Pablo. <laughs> I did notice there was a cactus on your couch. Why is there a cactus on your couch, Caitlin? His name is Juan Pablo because he's a big <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> very symbolic, very symbolic. <laughs> Caitlin, what did you think about what he whispered to her in that helicopter? It was just disgusting. Like, I just feel like the way a man speaks to a woman, the way that people speak to each other, it's a respect thing. When, when that's what happens when the cameras are off, I don't know why she didn't, like, run as fast as she could in that moment. Trista, what did you make of the way the date ended and what she had to say to him? Gosh, I just, I wish I could reach through the screen and shake her and be like, wake up, listen to yourself, listen to your gut and what your gut is telling you because she was getting the signs. You could tell that she had this big doubt in her mind and thinking, do I really want to be with a guy who's going to speak to me like that? I just hope and pray that during her season that she remembers what she went through and she listens to her gut this time. Caitlin, what is it that leads to those situations where there are red flags? We, and I say we as Bachelor Nation, are throwing things at our television. Um, and what is it that the rest of the world sees and then The Bachelorette doesn't? I know from experience that sometimes your vision can be clouded by people's charm. And I think, I mean, I didn't see it as a viewer, Juan Pablo's charm, but I think the girls that were falling for him did. Claire is like... She reminds me of like um, an edgy Disney princess. Like she, she's just so hopeful of that love story and she just wanted to see it so bad that her whole vision was clouded by his charm and what she wanted to see out of him. A lot of people on this show, they think, oh, this guy is the bachelor. Oh, this girl is the bachelorette. So I should like them. It's a really you good know? point, very valid point. Look, I'm just glad nobody picked me for his season because that's the one I yes. signed up for. Is that right? Really? Yeah, that's Juan Pablo's is what I signed up for. I remember making my video being like, and I can't wait to meet Camila. And then at the end, I was like, oh. Woo! <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Bullet dodged. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I think a few bullets have been dodged in my bachelor journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs>